Hi, my name is Devin Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in this video, I'm going to show you how the new ChatGPT or Azure OpenAI features work with inside of Power Virtual Agents. Let's take a look. All right, so as I said, in this video, we're really going to be highlighting Power Virtual Agents and how the new Azure OpenAI features now integrate into the product. This is primarily going to be highlighting some of the preview features with inside of Virtual Agents, so I want to make sure you're aware of that. We're going to be looking at non-production ready features as of today of me reporting this. So it may be in production if you're watching this a year from now, but as of today, this is a preview feature and has some really exciting things that will make chatbot creation far easier than it's ever been before. Now, one of the things, if you've ever created a chatbot with Power Virtual Agents, uh, and by the way, if you haven't, we have some great videos on our channel where you can go check out how to do that from the ground up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos where you can learn more, of course. But if you have created some of these chatbots before in the past, you realize a lot of the functionality that goes around it is creating topics and conversation trees, and you need to know what kind of things your users are going to ask. But what if your users ask something that you didn't expect? What if they asked for some information about a product that you had no idea they would ask about? And you're not prepared to answer that kind of question within the chatbot you've designed. Well, that's where the new Azure OpenAI features integrated with inside of virtual agents helps quite a bit. So let's actually walk you through how this works. I'm going to go ahead and create a new chatbot by going over to the create section over on the left hand side. And as I mentioned, this is going to be a preview feature. So we're going to select the preview option for creating a chatbot. Notice here that it's not for production at this point because it's still in preview. So we're going to go ahead and select the unified canvas in preview feature, and we will call this our YouTube chatbot. All right, very good. Oh, I think I've named it, named one that before. So we'll just call it, how about this? We'll call it YT chatbot. All right. Now, the first entry point that you'll see within to GPT is the ability to reference a website that you want your virtual agent to index and be able to bring back information from if one of your users asks a question that you don't have an answer to. So what I can do is I can actually provide uh, my website, my company's website right here to make a reference point. Let's make sure we spell it correctly. Looks like I did, so I'm not wearing my glasses. But I can see here if I plug in my company's website name that it'll have the ability to index that website even when my users ask a question about something I was not prepared for. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create. This usually takes one to two minutes to create the chatbot, but the benefit that we're gonna get from this is a far smoother experience. Now, you shouldn't always count on the open AI to be able to plan for everything. You really should actually design the chatbot yourself as well, design topics, so that way you can actually have a more dynamic experience. You can give back more interesting results. You could even make uh, dynamic results return back, and you can integrate into things like Power Automate if you design the chatbot yourself. But what I really want to highlight here is for those unexpected scenarios, when a user asks something you're not prepared for, and how do you handle that? Well, that's where GPT and Azure OpenAI really fills in the gap. So here's what I want to show you. Now that we've created our chatbot, my next steps would normally be is I would go over to the topic section and I would start to create a series of topics of all the things that my users might ask about. And there is actually some new integration with OpenAI here as well called Create with Copilot. It's another preview feature. You've likely seen the phrase Copilot by Microsoft in a lot of their different products, including Office products and other products as well. And Copilot is basically their term for AI assisting you, being your copilot, in designing your solutions. Now, I'm not going to show the Copilot feature today because actually what I want to highlight is the fact that OpenAI and Azure OpenAI with GPT are going to allow me to uh, interact with that website that we referenced a few moments ago, that being pragmaticworks.com, without me even having to integrate any other topics. I can leave the sample topics that are in here, I can leave the system topics, and I can just jump into a conversation with my chatbot right away, and it will start to return back results based on information found at pragmaticworks.com. So let's take a look. If I go to test the bot over in the bottom left-hand corner, I have not done any of the typical chatbot design that I would normally do with inside a virtual agent, but I'm going to go ahead and start asking questions that there's no way it should be able to know the answer to 
other than the fact that GPT is now integrated into Pragmatic Works' website. So if I were to ask something like, uh, what is virtual mentoring? And at, you can question mark or no question mark, you can figure it out. And I can ask that question, it's gonna be able to find a result based on what's on my company's website. Now, not only does it give me a proper answer that can be found on my website, but it also gives me a URL where I can now go to and see specific information about the question that I asked. That's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that's worth noting here is whenever you ask a question that's uh, pulled back information using Azure OpenAI, you'll actually see this little notation below letting you know that the information was captured using Azure OpenAI. So it tells you that that's where it got it from. It's not from a topic that you created. It actually pulled it from a uh, uh, Azure OpenAI query here. All right, so I can ask some more information, but we'll see a lot of the same kind of results. I can ask for things like, uh, what is a season pass? Let's spell it right. And it will go parse through some information on my website and return back information about what a season pass is. A season pass is a way that you can buy a bunch of classes all at once. And it gives me that exact information here. It tells me the value of a season pass and it tells me what do I get with inside of a season pass as well. So really cool, again, a website reference and a little tag on the bottom letting me know that this was captured with Azure OpenAI. So really, really powerful stuff. Uh, a lot of the time that would have been spent building the, uh, uh, the, the chatbot itself using topics is done for me. Now again, you should know that they can sometimes make mistakes. And so it's better to actually you create the topics yourself and leave the chat GPT section here to fill in the gaps of things that you maybe hadn't prepared for. Other than that, that's a really great start. It's a really great starting point here as you start to build your chatbots through virtual agents. All right, don't forget, of course, as always, to like and subscribe to our videos. Subscribe to our channel because we have all sorts of great content that comes around, around the Power Platform as well as Azure and SQL Server. So take a look at Pragmatic Works' channel for new information that we always have coming out. And again, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.